check this out. We need to get into a declutter. Like, it's been a minute since I've done the uh, foundation one, and that one was a home run. You know what I mean? But we need to get into my blushes, and that one's like a whole drawer of itself, um, and I'm ready to slice that suck in half. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of some. Some need to go in the trash because they're old. Some I'll see if friends or family want to take them off my hands and we'll see where the day takes us. You know what I mean? But first I want to say, hey, what's good? It's your boy Onegs. Welcome back to another video. Yep, another one. Um, and if you're into declutters, if you're into blushes, if you're into like collection-ish type of videos, we're going to get into it, into this blush collection. <laughs> like I said, slice it in half because some of them I'm not using. So why keep them? You know what I mean? If I haven't used you for more than six months, you're out of here. But yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's go. So here's an overall view of the blush collection, the blush drawer. Um, we're going to do some damage up in this sucker right here, yo. Well, I am. I'm going to do some damage up in here. All right, let's start with these blushes that I either got in PR, I purchased, or my friend sent me. We're going to start. I'm keeping all these, actually. Um, uh, so I'm keeping the Clinique one. This is the Cheek Pop blush. Uh, Pink Honey Pop. A Nude Pink. Powder blush, stunning. I actually have it on my face today. These two from Lawless. Of course, they're staying. These are the Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blush Gumdrop, which is a pink. And then we have Angel, which is a like neutral rose. These are beautiful. Shelly from Benefit, which is a pink. A pink nude from ColourPop, the Weightless Liquid Blush in Super Shy. And then this from EJ, Elijah, EJ, I think. I don't know. It's a cream blush. I'm going to play around with this as well. So I'm just grabbing a little container. And I'm going to pick out the ones that I know right away that I'm keeping. And then we'll go through the other ones and see if I'm going to keep it or not. Uh, so, for sure, my Dior blushes and Cherry and Rosewood. These are staying for sure. Cherry is so beautiful. You can sheer it out. It looks stunning on the cheeks. It doesn't really have that much of a glow to it. And then Rosewood. I still want more of these. My Artist Blush from Makeup Forever. And wherever Rose. I need more. I need to use this more. I'll be neglecting it. But that's staying. Okay, my two from, well, I have three of them, but I know for sure these two are Staying Sunny, which is a warm coral, because I still use it, and then Willa, which is one of my favorites, a neutral rose. So I am for sure keeping these. Oh, yeah, my Alice in Wonderland red blush. It's staying. I actually never tried this. I need to use it, but it's so cute. And then my other one from ColourPop. This one is the Kiss and Tell. Uh, beautiful for like when it's colder out. All right, these are get so these are all getting decluttered. This is from Kaleidos. I just don't use this anymore. I reach for other ones. I like this shade. Um. It's pretty sheer, but I have other formulas I reach for over this one. And then this color, I just don't like this type of berry color. So these are going to get decluttered. 
and then Glowish is no longer available. I never really liked these blushes anyway. These are the Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder, Sassy Saffron, and Berry Juicy. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really like this formula. It was very hard to apply, like to get an even, you know, even color. But the packaging is cute. And then Tara from Benefit. This is a golden brick red. Yeah, I just don't use a lot of darker type of blushes. But this is a beautiful formula. It has a little bit of a glow to it. But yep, it's going. All right, here we have some more. This is from e.l.f. This is the Bite Size Duo. Um, I think it's peach. Yeah, white peach affordable it works really good i've just gone through multiples of this and this one i just don't reach for this anymore but the highlighter is beautiful a little powdery and the blush is beautiful too um a little powdery but yeah this is pretty affordable it works really well uh but yeah i just don't reach for it so from elf decluttering that one this is staying for sure from charlotte tilbury this was last year's uh, Christmas little launch. This is the Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide palette. I had both of them. I had the deeper one, and this is the lighter, the pink, and the highlight. So cute. For sure, Shane. For sure, Shane. <sighs> From Give. Um, I'm keeping this one, which is the. Feeling Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo and Flirty Talk. What it looks like. This one is more like a satin and then this one's like a matte. Uh, they smell like baby powder and they're beautiful. I love this packaging. So keeping this one. But I'm going to declutter this one over here. This is in a warm berry shade. I don't like this shade on me. I really don't like this shade. It's so ugly. I don't know why they get one of the other ones. So this is gone. Okay, this is from Ofra. The Sunset Dreams little palette. Has a cream um, powder blush. And this like highlighting topper thing. That is so... I don't like it at all. I'm not going to keep this for just one product. And it gets messy. Yeah. So this is going, keeping both of these from Natasha Denona, the Berry Pop Cheek Trio. I love the Glow Cream. It's so beautiful. And the highlighters are okay. Love the packaging. And then here is the My Dream Cheek Trio. Uh, love it. It's so beautiful. I know that's not a blush, but this cream look like it's been through uh, better days. But yeah, I'm going to keep it. These are so old and they still sell them. Um, but I know for sure the... I like the pink one. This is the pink one. It's called Dream in Pink. Oh, what's going on? I can't open anything. See, it's beautiful. This got me into liking pinks. They're more, you know, the ones that are a little more neutral. Don't care for the berry one, of course. It's like a sparkly one, a matte, and like the satin. Yeah, I'm going to let go of this one. Oh, wrong way. Oh, the peachy one, which I don't know. I don't really use this one anymore. Hmm. You know what? These are maybes. These are maybes. Here's my house labs blushes. The only one I'm keeping is this one in the new packaging. The color fuse blush. This is French Rosetti. It's so beautiful and just, you, you could use it with anything, basically. I, I use it with anything, any type of look. You could sheer it out, you could build it up. 
I love the formula. I think that they improved the formula as well as, you know, obviously the packaging. Uh, so yes, keeping this. And then the four of these are getting a decluttered. This one is the Polymo Peach one, which I had to like repress it. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful shade, but I feel like there is a, oh, this is a special edition, Lavender Blondie. And then this one is, what is it again? Hibiscus Haze. Yeah, I just don't feel like this formula holds up to uh, the, the little, you know, the little one, the little one. Okay, this is an interesting one because there's a lot of maybes in here, you know. These are from Kaja. Oh, damn, I forgot to tell you guys what was sent to me and what wasn't sent to me. Um... I think the color, the cover pop, the cover pop, the cover girl ones I think were sent to me. Some were sent in PR, some were purchased, some were gifted, you know. Anyway, these are from Kaja. I don't reach for them. Yeah, they're newer, but I don't know. I just don't reach for them. I feel like I could give them to somebody that they would appreciate them. So I'm going to get rid of them. Nothing wrong with the formula. The Dewey formula. They work beautifully. This is another one from Kaja. It's like a lip and cheek situation. I kept one just to have the formula. But I don't use it, you know. I didn't get to use these yet. My homegirl sent these to me from Catrice. The Cheek Flirt Face Stick, I think. The Flirt, yeah. It's a pink and a peach. So I'm keeping these. Wow. I'm going to keep the Milk Stick and work. Yeah, work. This is beautiful. I love this shade. These are really easy to use. I, I like this formula. Now this... And these were sent to me in PR. I don't like this from Milk. I kept it just to see if I could like it. The cooling water jelly tint. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of that. This is from Ilia. It's the only one I have from the brand. It's really pretty. Like I don't use it though. I got this for like my birthday points. This is a maybe. Oh, here's some liquid joints. Whew. All of this was sent, I think, in PR besides these two right here. The Man Eater from Tarte. The Blush and Glow. This is really pretty. You know, liquid blush isn't my favorite formula. See, it has a little thinness to it. A strawberry shade. This is beautiful. And I used to love this. I don't reach for it anymore. It's a little old now. I'm going to keep the strawberry one and then get rid of the glow light. I don't know why liquid blush isn't my favorite formula. Now this is beautiful. The Luminous Silk Cheek Tint from Armani. It's in the shade Rosy Peach. So pretty. So pretty. Are you seeing that? She's beautiful. She has a little glow to her. Of course, she is staying. And now puffs are not my favorite. I don't I don't like this berry shade, but the formula is nice. I just don't reach for puffs that often. I'm going to declutter this one from Tarte. 
These two were sent to me in PR. Um, I don't know. Uh, these are maybes. I don't know. I like the formula. Uh, they're easy to work with. I just don't reach for the puffs anymore. Like, okay. Bare Minerals. I bought the highlighting blush in Rose Glow. Um, of course, they're both staying. This, I need to use this a little more. Um, and then this one over here, which is the bronzer. Which is a blush and a, a blush and a bronzer. A kiss of copper. Beautiful shade. They sent this to me in PR. When they were promoting their Amazon sale. Oh, she's beautiful. Especially now that we're getting into fall. Yeah, I'm keeping. The e.l.f. one it has a primer in it. It's definitely longer lasting. Pretty affordable. Yeah, this one's staying. The R.E.M. Beauty one is staying. I need to reach for this one. Mm. This is Dolly. Oh, she's iconic, though. Oh. Uh, I'm keeping this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't get rid of it. This Tarte one keeps getting hard pan. It is the Amazonian clay. And captivating. This is the old formula. I've had this for like five years. Yeah, it just gets like hard pan. Okay, these two from About Face. I'm going to let these go. They just don't speak to me anymore. I don't really care for this shade. Um, and this one is the shade Raunchy. It's the Cheek Freak Blush Bomb. They just dry out quickly. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't reach for them. So, you know what I mean? I'll let them go. These two are going, even though they're newer. These are the uh, Butter Melt Blushes from NYX. For the butter and sooner the butter. <laughs> Soft mauve. And this shimmering tangerine. They're just hard to use. This one has chunky glitters in it. On the face, you just see all gold glitters on the face. So it's not an easy, smooth formula like I thought it was going to be. And this one is the mauve shade. It's so hard to sh to to blend out on the skin. Yeah, it's just super patchy. Hard to blend out. It's a no from me. I wanted to try other shades, though. So this is new to me. My friend sent this to me from Catrice, the Air Blush Matte. <sighs> it's a pink blush. I'm going to keep this so I can, you know, try it out. The Rare Beauty is going. I don't like this formula. There's the Powder Blush. Enjoy. This is like a highlighter on your cheek. And I love highlighters, but it's just, it's a pigmented highlighter, basically. Like, a colored pigmented highlighter. I don't like the formula. See, like, the little dents in there? It's like, it's a little drying, the formula. Uh, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't like it. You know what I mean? I just don't like the formula. Love this from Makeup by Mario. It is the shade uh, Creamy Peach. It's a soft pop powder blush. These are beautiful. I wish I had more of them. Um, it doesn't look flat on the skin. It doesn't look matte. It looks like a satin. It looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's beautiful on the skin though. Beautiful. And yes, this is from cookies like a cookies tray these are the two-faced cloud crush blurring blushes 
I'm always reaching for this one, Tequila Sunset. They're a little difficult to open. This one's beautiful. Tequila Sunset. They're blurring on the skin, just like they say. Keeping this one. I'm going to keep this one over here and try to force myself to use it. But there's nothing wrong with it. If I don't reach for it within the month, I'm going to get rid of it. It's the shade Head in the Clouds. All right, here we have one I've been dying to get into. Uh, keeping my Say Blush, the Glow Sculpt in Peach Glow. I need to use this. It's been a minute. I used to use it all the time. And then I stopped. Keeping for sure. These are not my favorite cream blushes. These are from Mario. It's the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. Cream blushes, Rose Crush, and Just Peachy. Just Peachy. The Rose Shade. I don't feel like they're long lasting. I feel like they disappear. Um, so if you want something that's like to last more than like eight hours, I don't recommend these. But if you want something, you know, to wear for a little while, a couple of hours or whatever, then they're fine. You know what I mean? But these are newer to me. These are the Buxom Plump Shot Collagen Peptide Advanced Plumping Blush. Wow. And Cheeky Dolly. You know, that dolly shade. And then this one is Coral Cheer. They're a nice formula. Um, I feel like one is more pigmented than the other. I forgot which one, though. These are beautiful, though. I'm going to keep them. The packaging is stunning. I'm going to keep this from Tarte. It's the Maracuja Juicy Blush and Apple this is hella pigmented, so you have to go in lightly. That's what makes me not want to use it. It's because it's so pigmented, but it's a nice, long-lasting formula. But I am keeping it. Uh, picked this up a few months ago from Revolution. It's the... I don't know, but it's the shade Peach Bliss. I like the formula. It's like that, um, that brand, what is it called, uh, Jones Road, that brand, they have that Miracle Bomb stuff, so that's kind of what this is like giving, it's still soft. It is a little dewy, um, you have to set it, because it doesn't dry down. But it has a nice sheen to it. Not sheen. A nice, um, some nice color to it. Not pigmented, but it looks like a flush of color on the skin. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. All right. I'm keeping the Tower 28 blush. I like it. It's not my favorite cream formula, but I like it. They sent this to me. Um, and I'm keeping this from... Rare Beauty, the Melting Blush, and Nearly Mob. I need to try other shades. The rest of these are all going from Moira. Their Love Heat Cream Blushes. I just don't reach for them. They're really good quality and affordable, but there's others that I reach for over this. You know what I mean? So that's why it's going to go. And then this Kaja situation they sent to me years ago. It's a cutie bento and juicy watermelon. Look at that shade. I used the hell out of it too. Ugh, it was so good. I just don't use it anymore, you know? So decluttering all of this. Mm, time to do some damage. Some damage. Whew. Okay. These are the Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tints from Give. Yo, these are fucking phenomenal. They're beautiful. They have a decent color payoff. Uh, you can sheer it out, build it up. It has a dewiness to it. I like the applicator. They have beautiful shades. The packaging is just all that. It's staying. 
It's so beautiful. This is not my favorite formula. It's from e.l.f. The Camo Liquid Blushes. It's okay. Um, you know, they're affordable, but I have another affordable liquid blush that I feel like it's better. Now, this is my favorite drugstore liquid formula. The L'Oreal Lumi Le Liquid Blush. This one's dewy, rich coral. This is beautiful on the skin, long-lasting. You can sheer it out. It has pigment to it. Like, look at that formula. Look at that formula. It's for sure a stain. It, it lasts literally all day. Um, these are newer to me from Winky Lux. I'm going to keep them. They're the Cheeky Rose Liquid Blush. Obviously the two shades. Love this from CL. The Blush and Protect SPF 50. Um, yes, yeah, SPF in your blush. This is beautiful. A nudie pink type of shade. Well, like a coral pink type of shade. Yeah, a little more like brighter than the L'Oreal one. I'm getting rid of this blush here. It's a good formula. I just don't support the creme shop at all. So it's going. Uh, R.I.P. Jaclyn Cosmetics. This was one of the best liquid blushes I've used. The Blurring Blushes. Blurring Cheek Tint. And Plush Peach. And Plush Pink. Yeah, these were beautiful. Look at that color. These were beautiful. They had so many shades to choose from. The packaging was beautiful. Like, this one was getting me into pinks, too. I used to like mixing them, too. Uh, R.I.P. Jacqueline Cosmetics. R.I.P. The Clutter. Mmm. All right, I don't have a lot of NARS products. I think I only have like two. So I am going to keep this Afterglow Liquid Blush in Dolce Vita. It's not my favorite liquid formula, but it's an okay shade. I just want to keep a few NARS products because I don't really have any. But yeah, this is like very sheer. I need to try another shade. I think the rest of these are going... This is a beautiful formula. I just don't care for the color. It is the Dew Blush from Say in Chile. I like this formula because it's a little thicker. It reminds me of like a cream. A cream blush. But just in a like liquid. No, in a applicator. A dope applicator. Or whatever the hell you call it. It's just not my favorite color. Yeah, I'm just not using it. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. I'm like, maybe I can make it work. Get rid of it. I don't care for the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. These just disappear on my skin. Um, and they, they just sheer out. Yeah, I need some different colors. I need more vibrant colors, I guess. Because these were like special editions. And then they made it permanent. Virtue and Worth. Yeah, I don't know. They're just... I don't like them. I don't really care for the formula, the colors. They just sheer out of my skin. I'm going to declutter them. This was a huge disappointment from Maybelline. The Lifter... Wait, what is it? The Sun Blush? Sun Kisser Blush? This one is City Sizzle. It looks gorgeous in the pan, but the problem with this is that the glitter chunks are huge. Huge glitter chunks. And because of that reason, I am not keeping it. The clutter. Okay, we're about done. So this is like the last little section. The Dior 
little backstage glow face palette. Use it for blush, highlighter, bronzer, whatever you want to use it for. She's beautiful. I waited a while to get her because she sold out. She's always selling out and taking forever to restock. So this is saying for sure. I can't stand this product from one size. I just don't get along with a lot of the products from one size. So this is what it looks like. It is the Cheeky Clapper 3D Blush Trio. I don't like the cream product. It just does not want to sheer out, like melt into the skin. It just sits on top of the skin. It's hard to, it's hard to, to use. Like you can't, it's hard to apply. There you go. The powder is nice. I love the powder. But this like highlighting blush topper situation is garbage. The, the packaging is cute too. But find it a new home. So bye bye. I have four of these my, uh, Miami. I was going to say these Ofra palettes. Um, so this one from Hot Mess Mama. It is her first collaboration. This one's going. I just don't use it. You know what I mean? This one's new. The Head in the Clouds. I'm going to see if one of my friends wants this because it's still brand new. I think I swatched a few of the highlighters and they're beautiful. They're duochrome. And then the cream. No, there's powder. Powder blushes. Yeah, I'm going to see if my friend wants this. Okay, this is so old. This is the Blissful Blush Palette. This came out for Breast Cancer Awareness. It is just super old now. I'm going to let it go. I just don't use it anymore. I used to use it all the time. And that leaves me with this one, which I am leave I am keeping, actually. That Buenil a Miami. I like this one. It has two blushes. Two highlighters and two bronzers. And they're beautiful. This formula is just chef's kiss. So keeping that. And I'm getting rid of this Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. I just don't use it. You know what I mean? It's in the packaging. I use one shade out of here. I can find a home for it. You know? So the clutter. Alright, let's go back to all of these. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Ilia Stick blush I'm gonna get rid of this covergirl peachy blush trio but I am gonna keep the pink one because I really like it I like all the shades in here yeah I like this I'm gonna keep it and then these two I'm gonna keep them for now if I don't use them within a month I'm gonna get rid of them but it's a good formula I just don't care for you know liquid blushes too much so this is what the blush drawer is looking like we'll see when i go through other drawers to declutter i might be able to push some of this to the side and then put like bronzers and blushes no and highlighters in here you know what i mean um i'm really happy about getting rid of products i don't use and keeping the products that i'm into you know what i mean so this is everything that I'm getting rid of, decluttering. I think I did a great job. Um, yeah, out with the old, in with the new, right? This is that lip oil from Yensa. I forgot how good it is. The Lux lip oil in modern nude. Ugh, perfection, look at that. And this is not even a lip product video. This was a blush video. But I'm recording this part, like the outro, before I even start. So hopefully I did a good job. Um, hopefully I <laughs> please do a good job. Please do a good job. But yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And comment down below. Let me know if I did a good job. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Deuces.